In this session, we discuss the Lyapunov stability analysis for linear time invariant continuous time systems. We consider the direct method of Lyapunov or the second method of Lyapunov or the method that considers the energy function. In the case of linear time invariant continuous time systems, the direct method of Lyapunov provides a simpler approach for stability analysis. For a linear system, we can always construct a Lyapunov function and sufficient conditions can be established. Let us consider a linear autonomous system defined as x dot is equal to ax. Let us consider a quadratic Lyapunov function v of x is equal to x transpose px b a positive definite energy function associated with x dot is equal to ax. Here P will be a symmetric positive definite matrix. If we find the time derivative of V of x, we can see that it is x dot transpose Px plus x transpose Px dot. Substituting 1 in 2, we get Ax transpose Px plus x transpose P Ax. A B the whole transpose is P transpose A transpose. Therefore, this will be X transpose A transpose P X plus X transpose P A X. So, this will be X transpose into A transpose P plus P A into X. As per the Lyapunov theorem, V dot of X should be negative. Since x transpose x is a positive definite part, we can ensure the negative definiteness of v dot of x only if we consider a transpose p plus p a to be a negative definite function. So, we assume that this is equal to minus q where q is positive definite. This equation is called Lyapunov equation. For linear systems, the stability of the equilibrium point is the same as that of the system stability because local stability implies global stability. Hence, for a given system x dot equal to ax, in order to check the stability of the equilibrium point and in turn check the stability of the system, we need to verify whether Lyapunov equation is true. For which, we need to find p as well as q matrices. One way is to assume some P matrix which is positive definite and then find Q. But we can see that this may not end up with a satisfactory stability result. Because there is no universal method for selecting this Lyapunov function V of X which is unique for a given system. Some Lyapunov functions provide better answers than others. So studies have shown that initial choice of Q and thereby finding P will result in a unique solution of P. This results in the proper prediction of the nature of stability of the system. A simple choice of Q matrix is the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. Next we have Lyapunov stability analysis of non-linear systems. We have seen that determination of stability through Lyapunov's direct method centers around the choice of a positive definite function V of X called the Lyapunov function. But unfortunately, there is no universal method for selecting the Lyapunov function which is unique for a given non-linear system. Some Lyapunov functions provide better answers than others. Several techniques have been devised for a systematic construction of Lyapunov function and each is applicable for a particular case. In addition, we can see that if a Lyapunov function cannot be found, it in no way implies that the system is unstable. It only means that our attempt in trying to establish the stability of an equilibrium point of the system has failed. For a given V of X, there is no general method that allows us to ascertain its sign definiteness. But if V of X is in the quadratic form, then we can use simple tests like Sylvester's test to ascertain the sign definiteness of this function. Even with these limitations, Lyapunov method is still the most powerful technique available today for the stability analysis of non-linear systems.
As mentioned before, there is no way by which a proper Lyapunov function can be selected for non-linear system. Krasovsky, a Russian mathematician, came up with a simple form of Lyapunov function for non-linear autonomous system. Let us consider x dot is equal to f of x, where f of x is f1 of x, f2 of x, etc. to fn of x. We assume that f of x has continuous partial derivatives. Here we define v of x as f transpose x into f of x. Through which we can ensure that v of x is a positive definite function. In this case, v dot of x would be f dot transpose x into f of x plus f transpose x into f dot of x. But we can see that f dot of x is dou f by dou x into dx by dt. Since f itself is a function of x1, x2, etc. up to xn. This is equal to dou f by dou x into x dot. That is dou f by dou x into f of x. Dou f by dou x is nothing but the Jacobian matrix which is the matrix formed by the partial derivatives of the constituent elements. So, f dot of x can be written as j of x into f of x where j of x is the Jacobian matrix. So, we can substitute this in v dot of x. So, v dot of x is equal to j of x into f of x transpose into f of x plus f transpose x into j of x into f of x. So, this is f transpose x into j transpose x into f of x plus f transpose x into j of x into f of x. This can be written as f transpose x into j transpose x plus j of x into f of x. According to Krasovsky theorem, if the matrix q of x defined as j transpose x plus j of x is negative definite in the neighborhood of any equilibrium point, then the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. Also, if v of x tends to infinity as norm of x tends to infinity, then the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable in the large or we can say it is globally asymptotically stable. Hence, we need to check negative definiteness of this part for the stability of the equilibrium point that is being considered for the given nonlinear system. Thank you.